Anthony, I'm going to ask you to give me a little bit more space. Because although this doesn't have the active ingredient exactly in it, it does right have the propellant. So it'll smell like pepper spray. Not pepper spray, hairspray. You might cough, you might wheeze a little bit. Um, so those of you that are immediately to my left, I'm about to spray this stuff at that direction. And the wind is blowing towards you. And so you're going to be coughing and wheezing. And just Typical yellow stone. Nobody listens to anyone that knows steps, what they're doing. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so. If I had a bear as close as Grant is to me, that would be very much closer than I would want a bear. Now, if you buy bear spray, the instructions on that exactly can are going to tell you the effective range of that bear spray is about 25 to 30 feet. Grant is a little bit outside that range right now, but that's okay. The goal of bear spray is to essentially create a barrier between yourself and the bear. So what you want to do is aim low to the ground between you and the bear, basically in front of you. And you only need to spray it if the bear is coming toward you. But if a bear was as close as Grant is, I would definitely want to be spraying my bear spray if that bear was moving towards me at all. So I would just do about two seconds worth of spray in a side-to-side -side motion, just like that. Create a cloud, and the bear would, as it got closer to me, notice that and be uh, strongly impacted by the capsaicin. Now, my demonstration can did not have the capsaicin in it. It would be an orange cloud if it did. For those of you that are wanting to get up to the fence line, you're welcome.